Good afternoon, everyone. I want to welcome you to Fall High Point Market. Um, today, we have Trend Watch to Fall 2020 Part 2 Pod. Um, it is with Julie Smith Vincenti, who is with Nine Muses Media. Uh, this is CEU accredited, and for those who have signed up through Zoom, you will receive an email with that information following the presentation. This is being recorded and live streamed to Facebook, and we want to welcome you um, if you're viewing this afterward or remotely from another device. At this time, I'll turn it over to Julie. Great. Thanks so much, Kim. And thanks to all of you for joining us for, as Kim had mentioned, part two of Trendwatch Fall 2020. Uh, briefly, Trendwatch is a very popular program that um, uh, takes place during market. Uh, we've pivoted, obviously, to webinars this go around. And as Kim had mentioned, you get the CEU credits for today. At the conclusion of each webinar, we get some links to you, and those links have some downloadable PDFs. And from those PDFs, you'll have some visuals of the companies that we're featuring, as well as their showroom locations. And um, what you'll be finding are um, the products of the, uh, our curation, the actual products that were submitted and that we selected to be included this time around. Uh, as you're planning your high point market sourcing, whether it's going to be virtual or in person this season, uh, please remember that you're going to find a list of the confirmed open showrooms at highpointmarket.org. And of course, it is recommended that you make appointments. So briefly, really quick, um, if you were not able to join us last week, we uh, introduced a trend presentation or theme called Touch Points. So that first chapter, just a quick review, we presented uh, a softer uh, side of our fall stories. Um, we soften the edges of our high-tech homes with uh, lovely furnishings, touch points, if you will, that added intrigue and satisfied the senses, evoked po positive memories, awakened imagination. We looked at materials. We looked at surface finishes. We looked at fringe and pleating and mesh, mixed media, as well as linear patterns and especially sketched lines or hash marks. Those are to name just a few of, of our highlights. And as Kim had shared, we do record these so you can access them off of the YouTube channels and other uh, Facebook and other, um, and other social media channels. But today, our presentation is titled Pod. This is a direct reference to the current times that we're in. We've retreated to our homes during this extraordinary year. And we narrowed our circle to our families, to our few trusted friends, to a few members of our communities, perhaps. Now, we've experienced something similar to this. And here I'm thinking of the cocooning that we did in the late 1990s. We wanted to escape technology. We wanted to heal. We wanted to retreat inwards. And we wanted separation. So the big difference between this idea of retreating inward, the 1990s cocoon, and the 2020s pod is that we are absolutely finding technology and connectivity to be essential to our existence. And in fact, for many, we are working from home, we're learning from home, we're celebrating from home, and our personal spaces have taken on this new meaning where we're pivoting to our entertainment spaces, our learning spaces, our workspaces. Pods are family-focused sanctuaries and control centers. It's where career, and family and technology converge. Now, prior to the pandemic, our homes, have be, our, our homes are becoming smarter. Our homes have been uh, setting a stage for us to, uh, to, to have these work from home, learn from home environments. And you'll notice here in terms of the estimated number of US households with smart applications, the forecast only shows that in nearly all of this, in, in all of the different categories presented in this slide, they're going to see increases, increases in this technology in our homes, absolutely. So prior to the pandemic, we saw this smart home trend in place. During the pandemic, we've noticed some other types of trends. 
we have foregone the extensive lengthy vacations and opted for family road trips where we travel to trusted Airbnbs that we believe meet our uh, safety and cleanliness expectations for these times. We've been binge watching a crazy amount of content and entertainment in our home entertainment areas in our home. We have focused on the inside of our homes and begun renovation projects, um, making improvements and making upgrades. We've seen the rise of celebrity social media uh, folks who have absolutely captured this kind of current zeitgeist and added some humor to our day to day. We've seen, we've seen people longing so much for air travel that they've boarded planes that have had themes to them, whether it's Hello Kitty or Hawaii or no things at all. They're just missing air travel. And of course, we'd adapted to some new rules and regulations. This piece of wall decor in the lower right-hand portion of your screen is from Left Bank Art. I showed it last week, and I think it's very fitting to include it here. Uh, this is a series titled In a Barbie World. One of the biggest trends though to emerge has been the massive rise of e-commerce and that's not new, right? We've known that e-commerce season over season, year over year has been capturing more percentage, a higher percentage of total retail sales. But we've been watching that sort of slowly follow the pattern that you're seeing here on your screen. So in quarter one of 2020, the percentage of total retail sales was 11.5%. Fast forward now to quarter two, and we see that online retail sales are 16.1% of total retail sales. So which trends stay with us following the pandemic? Which trends, um, uh, which trends go by the wayside remains to be seen, of course, but I think we'll all agree that this acceleration to online retail is only going to be moving in one direction as consumers adapt to and, and, and come to expect some of the conveniences that go along with online retail. That being said, let's choose to shine. We're going to begin our curation now, um, and these are the products that if we were at market, um, you would have seen in our product display, which is located, um, they're located three of them on the High Point Market campus. That being said, we're bringing these, these products to you virtually. So here's the first piece in that curation. We begin with an area rug from Be Outspoken. This is a brand that's known for empowering vibrant statement art that's printed on sustainably dyed um, Brazilian hair on hide. Um, it's, um, the process uses Italian eco-friendly pigments and the homeowner gets to choose from a number of these really fun messages as well as the color, as well as the option to include a fringe. We have been, as I mentioned, spending a lot of time binge watching uh, media. And I think this piece from uh, the Christina Home Designs for Spectra Home is a great example of how our families are gathering in, in spaces and seeking comfort. This is the Malibu two-piece sectional, sort of California casual style, but also offers a great durability story. I'd like you to take note of the menswear or suiting inspired fabric on the throw pillows as well as the great almost tete-a-tete -tete configuration of that piece on the left side of this sectional allows for some really great um, gathering and cuddling and clustering of family and friends for sure. Swivel um, has been a comfort expectation for consumers for several seasons now, and nearly all of our upholstered chairs included uh, swivel options. Uh, here's another example of a, a menswear-inspired home from the same collection from Spectra Home. Uh, this swivel chair has a suiting fabric called Jackie O. Granite. Speaking of family comforts and gathering together and cuddling, here's a new piece from Mercana. This is the Roy three-seater 84-inch sofa. It has a you know, really super comfort promise indeed. Check out how all the cushions seem to be really overstuffed in a way. There's some hints of mid-century here in terms of form, as well as a very noticeable sort of European casual upholstery vibe as well. Um, speaking of comfort, Individual comfort, whether for binge watching Netflix, uh, video gaming, or even just taking a nap. Um, that's a shoe in here with the Gamlin Armless Power Recliner. This is from uh, Hooker Furniture. 
It's for home entertainment spaces, um, but finds a place in many rooms in the home, certainly the home office or even just a, a modern day rec room, if you will. It's about 39 inches deep and about 31 and a half inches wide. Here's a fun piece for family gathering and socializing and cuddling and sleepovers. Um, here's the Lola sofa bed from Camrick USA, a three seater that easily transforms to a two person sleeper and take note of the performance velvet. And speaking of velvet, that's a material that we've been talking about now for several seasons, and it seems to show no signs of waning as we move into 2021. Here's the Parker sofa chair, a super wide uh, profile or form from Essentials for Living. This comes in at 43 inches wide. It's another example of this crisp sort of suiting inspired tailoring. It's covered in dark dove velvet and it has a natural gray oak frame. And both of those rounded um, bolsters are included. Also in velvet, we have this rebel swivel chair from Sam Moore. It's shown in a rich emerald velvet. Uh, great for conversation areas in a home, or also great as a standalone, standalone piece for a bedroom or a guest suite for sure. So needless to say, in these times, spending time uh, consuming media and gathering as a family, um, uh, naturally we would have featured quite a few new upholstery designs for you to check out this fall at market. So we're gonna segue into now our sort of work from home piece. So without question, and even prior to the pandemic, technology has been shaping our needs and expectations for how we work. And as technology becomes smaller, and there's less of it, and there are uh, greater reliance on wireless and greater reliance on cloud computing for storage. We're finding that the sort of office of the future, whether that's in a commercial space or a contract environment or a home environment, is almost reduced to great lighting, a surface, and a seat. When we asked uh, companies to submit products for POD, um, we asked for some of the uh, solutions that they're offering up that are helping to make our home spaces perform like our uh, commercial office spaces. Now, back at the start of the pandemic, um, and this was only when homeowners were about one or maybe two months into this staying at home order, um, respondents in a survey conducted in mid-April were asked, uh, you know, would you like to change your work schedule after the COVID-19 has been, been uh, contained? And 43% said, in fact, they do want to work remotely more often, that working from home feels a viable option for them to still be effective, for them to still be connected, for them to still be productive. So that being said, um, we can look to some of the trends on the commercial side of the office industry to get a handle on how the office of the home in the future may be may look. So one of the trends on that side of the aisle um, has included this notion of materials to provide sound absorption, and that's where we've seen a rise in wool material. If you look at the image on the top right, which is from Hayworth, um, the office of the future, the office of today, is about creating private spaces where people can have conversations on their mobile devices, where people can perform, perform some desktop work if needed, where they have a light source, and they have an open environment. Um, a light fixture that, uh, that promises sound absorbing um, uh, benefits. A task light that simultaneously charges your device. Or even in general, and this has been a really broad stroke trend coming out of the commercial office side of things, is just more home-like environments, more independent, smaller, freestanding pieces that are mobile, that allow the worker to um, stay connected, to be part of a community, but to also have a sort of quaint and cozy feel. That being said, for many workers, it could be as simple as having a cart that goes with you throughout your home. And in this case, probably for someone who is working in a small scale living um, arrangement or has a smaller office space. Um, this is a cart from Zodax. Um, it's the Monte Verde concrete bar and trolley in this great uh, finish called Dark Anthracite. Um, bringing in smart lighting solutions for the home office. 
Um, here's a silhouette from Seed Design. This is their sole floor lamp. Understated luxury indeed, as well as smart performance. It has a dimmable LED strip that surrounds this adjustable ring. And it's a similar idea that's um, mimicked in, um, that's evoked here in this arterier's pendant. This is the Fisk pendant, which also has um, an LED ring that articulates from a horizontal position to a full vertical position. Um, what's interesting about this piece worth noting is that it's damp rated. So you can consider some outdoor options for this fixture, um, knowing full well perhaps then that the finish itself could be affected. Take note of this minimalist circular sort of banded form. Uh, we see that um, carried through in this great uh, table collection from Pianca. This is um, their Abaco table series. The surfaces or the trays rather lift out of those stretcher leg bases and um, uh, there's a variety of finish options available. These pieces nest together to create really interesting, um, uh, an interesting arrangement indeed, um, standalone on their own, but very much hearken uh, of the sort of commercial office reception rooms, um, but make a great uh, solution in residential office spaces or living areas indeed. So one of the things that's been trending for some time now in home office and in office in general is if we're sitting at our computers for somewhere between six to eight to 10 to 12 <laughs> hours a day, uh, what's needed for our body? How can we be more healthful and mindful in those choices? And the solution that comes to the fore then is adjustability, height adjustability. So there's a number of players in um, the residential side that have looked to the commercial side for that um, feature benefit story. So here's a great example from Copeland Furniture. This is their, from a series of desks in which you can sort of customize finish and customize size. But I think what they've done here is struck the right balance between a residential look and feel with the kind of power and functionality that you might be expecting in a corporate workplace for sure. Um, this particular desk raises from 25 inches to 51 inches and um, uh, Copeland Furniture is very much into a sustainability story. Um, there's a Green Guard certified finish on this collection. Even um, for folks um, being mindful of small scale living needs, uh, this is a new collection from BDI. This is their retooled sequel collection. Take note of that <clears throat> keyboard tray that, that rolls out to um, allow the user to create a little bit of distance from the work surface. Uh, six new uh, finishes and uh, new features and configura configurations available in this line. And here's another take, a sort of more low-tech take on the idea of height adjustability. Needless to say, Modus's Medici collection um, has um, stretchers that uh, are height adjustable. And um, sometimes even just these small little uh, details make a difference, like in the case of this floor lamp, including uh, a task light solution. Uh, the lamp is from, it's the Hemet brush nickel floor lamp. That's from Pacific Coast Lighting. Now, uh, for the more minimalist homeowner in mind, office solutions that um, uh, promise cord management with just a little bit of storage. Uh, here's an example from Cameric USA up at the top. That is their time desk. And uh, another um, piece that's uh, in that sort of same spirit of an elegant and minimal, elegance and minimal, minimal is the uh, Andre Swivel dining chair or office chair from Sunpan. This gold finish and the stainless steel legs uh, really take on a, a, a very um, sophisticated chic look. And the seat itself is full 360 degree swivel. Even for our young learners, uh, for those of us who have kids or for those who have grandkids or nieces and nephews and friends whose kids are working from home, uh, a quick solution for them. Um, here's a, the junior desk um, from a company that um, handcrafts furniture in Mexico, uh, TRRA. Um, some minimalist styles, uh, some fun uh, storage features and compartments and cubbies in the junior desk, and then a very artful presentation for mom and dad in the Nicho desk. Um, it's a uh, walnut wood and this is a really phenomenal material story here, very elegant collection indeed. 
So we would be remiss if we didn't include a couple of media consoles and media solutions. So here's uh, the new Align Media Console from BDI. Um, uh, it offers this sort of seamlessness of uh, media storage, um, TV display, as well as whole home storage. Lots of different sizes and configurations available in this collection, as well as two different finish options, including this sort of stone gray. Um, here is a wall-mounted solution from Modway. This is the render wall-mounted TV stand. It has cable management holes, as well as sliding doors so that electronics can continue to, um, to breathe. And it accommodates a TV up to 50 inches. Now, as I mentioned, we typically have product displays. And so for the accessory side, of this presentation, we went with some of the sort of indigo uh, brush strokes and some of these abstract patterns that have been uh, so popular in 2020. So just really quickly kind of going around, we have um, this, the Kaylee ceramic table lamp from Regina Andrew, um, clockwise I should say from top left. We have these lovely handmade vases from Art Floral Trading. We have this lovely piece of wall decor from Celadon Art. This is a gicle on fine art paper. We have E. Lawrence limited decorative books that are hand bound in fabric with this modern sort of circular globe design. And we have an area rug from Unique Looms Vince Camuto uh, collection in uh, the navy colorway. And uh, so I ask you to visualize these uh, lovely accessories um, uh, around the furniture that you've seen uh, so far in our display. Now, I want to take a moment to put some of our selections from POD against the backdrop of the color palettes of some of the leading color forecasting firms. So I'm going to open with a palette uh, from Pantone's 2021 Home and Interior, Pantone View 2021 Home and Interiors called Fleur. Now, for those of us uh, who have joined me in uh, some of our summer educational programming, you know that florals have figured pretty prominently in our stories for 2020, and floral patterns are likely and will hold moving into 2021 for sure. Here's some examples where we incorporated blues and green colorways, this sort of digitized effect that helped to ground these flowers in a sort of modern context. Certainly the apparel influences of florals indeed, as well as some fun muted uh, colors that hint at the mints and the pinks and the yellows that are incoming. Here you see some swatches from Pantone's Fleur color palette for 2021, and you see this lovely mix of the pinks and the yellows in the greens um, against this blue backdrop. And here you see those, so those same colors against a very sort of rugged denim uh, workman uh, uh, sort of uniform uh, uh, backdrop, again, with the pinks and the yellows. We also, I just wanted to present uh, how some of the blues are factoring in for moving into 2021. These blues alongside this sort of citron or yellowish green, the pinks as well, and these blue cast grays. These swatches are from the Galaxies and the Vivify Pantone 2021 palettes. And I'm using an area rug from FJ Kashanian to illustrate that. Here's a piece from Paragon. And these colors are from the Vivify pattern from Pantone's 2021 um, with the very simple message of one thing at a time. Uh, this piece of wall decor is in a shadow box. It's a gicle. And again, these, these linear patterns, whether they are straight lines or whether they're more brush strokes, are front and center in our Trend Watch Fall 2020 presentation. Um, one of the things I'd like you to take note of as we move into 2021 is just the, the importance of purples and just how well these purples mix with pinks and how well these lavender and pink kissed purples mix with the blues and the greens that have dominated in 2020. So here's an example of the uh, Vivify palette in play again, as well as colors from the polychrome. And take note here too, again, of these purples, how well they work with neutrals, how well they're working with the blue greens. And this is uh, a series of lampshades from Sorella Green. And um, the key takeaway, as I mentioned, is purple moving into 2021. 
and um, especially how well the purples play with grays. I also want to take a moment just to look at some of the Sherwin-Williams 2021 colors. This is from their uh, Color Mix 2021 forecast. Uh, let's start with Sanctuary. Um, this palette is um, very much about um, nurturing our, and wellness and um, biophilia and, and living alongside natural materials. I'd like you to take note of the color, the swatch in the lower right hand of your screen. That is Urbane Bronze. And in fact, it has been named the color of the year uh, by Sherwin-Williams. And uh, as, you, as it suggests, and as the sanctuary palette uh, uh, name implies, it's very much about um, organic uh, uh, appeal and very much about uh, bringing the outside in. Here's another example of some of the colors from that sanctuary palette in play, as well as some of the hues from other palettes for 2021, including Continuum, which is um, Sherwin-Williams' take on blending natural as well as tech colors. And so we have this great bedding collection from Carol and Frank that illustrates that continuum palette. It's this merging of carefree boho colors alongside a more mature and modern kind of take. Uh, this collection's worth noting is machine washable, easy maintenance. And here's another idea of that continuum palette in play that draws on that mix of tech as well as a sort of boho vibe. Tapestry is also from the Sherwin-Williams 2021 palette, and we have some textiles um, that speak to that collection indeed. So we have um, Jaipur's Puebla collection. Uh, those are the two pillows on the left, where you see these pinks and these purples coming together. And then from the Mina Victory Home Accents collection, that's part of Nurasan, this fun multicolor shag throw pillow, this playful interpretation of Sherwin-Williams tapestry palette indeed perfect for a child's room. And no pod uh, for 2020s in these current times would be complete without having a place where our kids can go and feel in command. So for the little ones, we have Bivoni and Company's Tiamo Adirondack Cabin Twin Over Twin Bunk Bed, has the wooden shingled roof, a sturdy ladder, clapboard, fashion siding, big windows, and an open back. And so that concludes our curation for uh, pod, today's presentation. I want to just share just a couple little things. I know I'm over, but just bear with me for about two more minutes. Moving into 2021, please be mindful of simple forms, refined finishing, these very tactile, natural finishes. The chair on the left is from Camrick. The shelving unit, the sort of low-tech, is from Gus Design. Please take note of these open cage-like designs. Um, this is especially um, relevant as you reach out to consumers who are looking to blend modern forms alongside sort of traditional references. You'll see some more examples of this a week from today in our last chapter of Trend Watch. Also, casual materials elevated to these very artful forms. This is the Eleanor chair from Arteriors. We did feature this last week, but I wanted to include it again, just to take a note, sort of trend notes, casual materials elevated to these architectural sculptural forms. Throughout 2020, if you've been attending any of my webinars, you know that I've been talking about avian motifs. Avian motifs are still uh, relevant moving into the first half of 2021, but butterflies have also sort of swooped in, sort of swooned in, and are existing alongside those avian motifs. And then with this slide, I just want to tee up something really quick. Next week, we're going to talk about a theme called Prologue, and that's very much about millennials and about millennials feathering their first nests. A year ago this time, when millennials were asked why they are, what's keeping them from buying a home, they referenced not having enough income, cost of living too high, student debt. But let's fast forward to one year from that time to today and how the pandemic is changing the millennial mindset. Millennials are leading the resurgence in home buying in 2020. In fact, the year-over-year -year increase in millennial mortgage applications, there's been a rise and increase every month of 2020, with the exception of just April. It's the decline in these mortgage rates that are boosting this, this, this action on the part of millennials. And in fact, when you consider that mortgage payments are reduced by about 10% compared to last year, millennials absolutely are 
uh, considering and moving forward to that first time buy. If those numbers aren't convincing, here's just a little bit of qualitative information. Here's uh, what a, a millennial was quoted as saying in a, in a news article I was reading. The value of the city to us was being around all the people, being able to go to all the restaurants, the culture and the museums and the plays. You remove all that, it's difficult to justify paying the rent, being in a small confined space and having no access to being outdoors by yourself. So I'm really thrilled to be able to talk then with you a week from today in prologue where we can look at dining solutions. We can look at purple and yellow color complements and study whether those are going to be as strong in 2021 as the blue and orange color complements have been. We're going to look at another Pantone palette. Um, this one uh, features uh, several vibrant hues to say the least. This, these are uh, swatches from the Quixotic palette. And I hope to see you one week from today, same place, same channel, same time. Thank you.